Matt Rich tell, an elegant defense, the extraordinary new science of the immune system, a tale in four lives. Dive into the fascinating world of the immune system with an elegant defense. The Extraordinary New Science of the Immune System, A Tale in Four Lives by Matt Richtel. In this detailed exploration of the immune system, Richtel provides insight into the complex mechanisms that keep our bodies healthy and how they have evolved over time. Weaving in personal stories and scientific discoveries, the book offers an insightful introduction to the cells that fight off harmful pathogens, and the scientists who unlocked the secrets of the immune system. Discover the incredible ways in which your body fights off invaders and the compelling journey of research that has brought us to our current understanding of this essential aspect of human biology. The Festival of Life Picture an enormous, lively celebration with hundreds of billions of guests. This incredible gathering, the Festival of Life, is happening within you right now, involving your own cells, bacteria, and viruses. Among the revelers are your immune system cells, the janitors, security, and first responders of your body. They manage tissue damage, detoxify, and battle dangerous intruders called pathogens. Although pathogens can come in various forms, it is essential to remember that most bacteria and viruses are not harmful, and some even contribute to our survival. The real story, though, lies in how humanity has subdued these illnesses by unraveling the mysteries of the immune system. Welcome to the Festival of Life, a colossal celebration occurring within each of us. This vibrant carnival hosts your cells, bacteria, and viruses, all coming together in perfect harmony. Amidst the festivities, highly efficient personnel, your immune system cells, work diligently to maintain order by repairing tissue, detoxifying, and fending off pathogens looking to wreak havoc. Pathogens primarily present themselves as bacteria, viruses, and parasites, though we shall spotlight the first two. Now, these tiny entities are not inherently sinister. In fact, merely 1% of bacteria could potentially cause illness, while some viruses play a vital role in our existence. A prime example includes retroviruses that helped create around 8% of our genetic material. However, a few bacteria and viruses pose deadly threats, such as Yersinia pestis, the cause of the Black Plague, or lethal viruses like Ebola, HIV, smallpox, flu, and rabies. Despite the danger, humans have significantly reduced the death rate from bacterial and viral infections like influenza and pneumonia prevalent before 1900, compared to today's fatality numbers. So how have we achieved this incredible feat? Our triumph is rooted in the fascinating adventure of discovering and understanding the immune system, unveiling the essential secret to conquering these relentless microscopic adversaries. The Birth of Immunology The field of immunology has its roots in three puzzling discoveries, each of which was initially distressing to the researchers. First, a peculiar organ was discovered in a chicken by Fabricius of Aquapendant in the 16th century, despite its striking resemblance to a purse, nobody could determine its function. The second baffling find occurred a century later when Gaspar Aselli found milky veins in a dog's stomach, an anomaly that contradicted the predominant understanding of the circulatory system at the time. Finally, in 1882, the Russian zoologist Elia Mechnikov made a groundbreaking discovery while observing starfish larvae under a microscope, he noticed wandering cells that seemed to protect the organisms from outside threats. This discovery led to the phagocyte theory, which posits that the body's first response to attack is to swarm the invader with cells that consume it. These mysterious finds led to the pursuit of understanding Bodhis' defense mechanism, and ultimately, the emergence of immunology. The Thymus, Unlocking Immunity Dr. Jacques Miller, a French physician, unknowingly embarked on a journey of groundbreaking discovery during his study of leukemia in the 1950s. His experiments, involving injecting mice with leukemic filtrate and examining their thymus glands, led to the realization that this seemingly insignificant organ was a key component in a creature's immune system. In the late 1950s, French physician Dr. Jacques Miller, working in London, 
found himself puzzled by a series of dying mice with infected livers. Investigating further, Dr. Miller realized that these mice had been deprived of an organ known as the thymus, which he suspected might be the reason behind their compromised immunity. At the same time, researchers around the world were studying leukemia following the atomic bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. The rising number of leukemia cases in these locations prompted scientists to use mice as experimental subjects. They exposed mice to radiation to simulate leukemia and stumbled across a curious finding, some mice developed leukemia spontaneously in their thymus glands, the mysterious organ Dr. Miller had been investigating. Driven by curiosity, Dr. Miller conducted experiments by injecting mice with a liquid derived from cancerous tissue, called leukemic filtrate. He observed varied results, baby mice developed leukemia, while adult mice remained unaffected. This led him to explore the role of the thymus in immunity. In a series of experiments, Dr. Miller removed the thymus from newborn mice and replaced it with one from a baby mouse when the subject reached adulthood. With this procedure, he consistently found that the mice developed leukemia as soon as they were given an immature thymus. The thymusless baby mice he studied were defenseless against infections, confirming his suspicion that the organ played a significant role in immunity. Dr. Miller's innovative experiments transformed the previously obscure thymus into a central player in immunological research. Thanks to his breakthrough findings, we now understand the importance of this organ in maintaining a robust immune system. Unraveling the immune system The mysterious and complex inner mechanisms behind our body's ability to protect itself have long intrigued scientists. Dr. Jacques Miller's groundbreaking research on the thymus and its role in the immune system helped establish the critical importance of T-cells. Yet, despite the discovery of these cells' function in distinguishing between self and non-self, the nuances of our immune system's defenses remain wondrously intricate and captivating. Humans have an uncanny ability to recognize foreign substances, such as harmful bacteria. However, at times, our bodies might mistakenly attack innocent elements. Dr. Jacques Miller's research aimed to uncover the answers behind these phenomena. His investigation revealed that the thymus, an often overlooked gland, played a vital role in the immune system. Skin grafts, which frequently resulted in rejection from the host body, served as the stepping stone for Dr. Miller's research. When he removed the thymus from mice, they no longer rejected the skin grafts, suggesting a connection between the thymus and this immune reaction. Further examinations on these thymusless mice unveiled that they had a significantly low count of a specific type of blood cell with a single nucleus, the so-called T-cell, short for thymus-derived cell. But how do these T-cells recognize and attack pathogens? Paul Ehrlich, an immunology pioneer, proffered an idea back in 1891. He theorized that particular human cells had biological keys, which he called antibodies, that could match locks in the pathogens, known as antigens. This lock and key interaction allowed the body to fight off intruders. Initially, Dr. Miller believed that T cells were responsible for housing these special key carrying cells. While this notion held some truth, the reality unraveled to be far more enthralling and complex. The enigmatic depths and intricacies of the immune system continue to capture the curiosity of modern science. Unraveling the Antibody Mystery In 1954, the significance of the bursa, a puzzling pouch-like organ, was finally understood as a researcher found that its removal from chickens drastically hindered their ability to produce antibodies. This discovery became crucial as the lack of antibodies indicated compromised immune systems, leading to severe illness. A young boy's case, where he suffered multiple bouts of pneumonia and infections but had a functioning immune system, puzzled doctors. In the 1960s, physician Max Cooper studied a similar condition, Wiskett Aldrich syndrome, where patients exhibited immune systems that barely functioned. Cooper deduced that there must be two types of lymphocytes, each with its origin. While one type of lymphocyte originated in the thymus, the other was yet to be determined. However, humans do not possess the bursa of Fabricius, so the mystery persisted. Unlocking the Lymphocyte Mystery 
Dr. Jacques Miller validated Dr. Max Cooper's hypothesis on the existence of two types of lymphocytes, T cells and B cells, which play vital roles in our immune system. When our body gets infected, it initially responds without specificity. T cells help provide precision by identifying pathogens and activating B cells to release antibodies. These B cells, originating from the bone marrow, possess unique antibodies that match specific antigens, making our defense system effective and targeted. In a phenomenal breakthrough, Dr. Jacques Miller confirmed Dr. Max Cooper's theory, unraveling the mystery of lymphocytes. Miller discovered two distinct types, T cells and B cells. Remarkably, B cells originate in the bone marrow and compose about 40% of human white blood cells. These cells not only unveil the riddle of Gaspar Aselli's white-blooded dog but also prove to be indispensable in our survival. To illustrate how B cells and T cells operate in our immune system, let's consider a flu infection. Initially, the body's response is generic, the remaining 60% of white blood cells rush to the site of infection, similar to what Elia Mechnikov observed in wounded starfish larvae. That's when the real players, T cells and B cells, jump into action to provide targeted precision. Adorned with tiny spikes, T cells can detect pathogens and react accordingly, either fighting the harmful agent themselves or enlisting the B cell army. Equipped with antibodies, B cells act as signal receivers, much like antennas or keys. This intelligence aligns with Paul Ehrlich's side chain theory, where cellular keys match specific pathogens' locks. Moreover, our bodies are homes to billions of unique B cells, each carrying a single key or antibody that corresponds to a single antigen. Imagine these B cells tirelessly wandering throughout our systems, eventually bumping into their complementary antigen, a perfect fit. Once the accurate antibody and its matching antigen collide, the B cells initiate a series of specific defenses to eliminate the threat effectively. This incredible process demonstrates the complex and remarkable nature of our body's ability to fight against infections. Unlocking the Infinity Machine The human immune system is nothing short of remarkable, capable of fighting off unknown threats even when encountering them for the first time. Susumu Tonegawa, a Japanese researcher, discovered the secret behind this extraordinary capability in the 1970s. It lies within the intricate workings of B cells and their genetic material, which undergoes a profound transformation during the maturation process. This genetic reconfiguration allows the body to produce trillions of different antibodies, ready to combat an infinite number of pathogens and keep us safe from harm. Our bodies are constantly confronted by harmful bacteria, viruses, and foreign substances that can wreak havoc on our health. Yet, our immune system continuously adapts and evolves to keep these dangers at bay. The cornerstone of this miraculous defense mechanism is a little-known process that occurs within the genetic material of B cells. While working at the Basel Institute for Immunology in the 1970s, Susumu Tonegawa uncovered that the genetic material within B cells experiences a unique transformation. He found that immature B cells share the same genetic segments as their counterparts. However, when an immature B cell matures, its genetic makeup changes dramatically. This astonishing shift in genetic material gives B cells their distinctive ability to recognize and neutralize an astounding variety of threats. As each B cell matures, it retains certain common genetic elements while discarding others in a remarkably precise manner. The end result is a stunning array of B cells, each producing specific antibodies geared to a particular threat. With this system in place, our bodies can produce trillions of unique antibodies, granting us unparalleled protection against the countless dangers lurking in our environment. Much like a lock and key mechanism, our B cells hold the keys to innumerable locks, many of which may never even exist. Armed with this seemingly infinite arsenal, the human immune system is primed to confront and overcome any threat that comes its way. The Intricate Battle Within Our immune system is a complex, powerful force divided into two complementary systems. The adaptive immune system learns from exposure to pathogens and enhances its fighting capacity against them in the future. 
Meanwhile, the innate immune system supports the adaptive system by recognizing generic pathogenic traits and providing direction for targeted defense. When our bodies encounter harmful pathogens, an impressive battalion of immune cells springs into action. Among these warriors are neutrophils, which make up a significant portion of our white blood cells. Drawn to the site of infection, neutrophils release enzymes that destroy the invading pathogens before breaking down themselves. In fact, pus found at an infected site is comprised of dead, dissolved neutrophils. As the initial cleanup crew, other cells arrive to remove the debris left behind by spent neutrophils. Simultaneously, the targeted defense strategy is initiated. Dendritic cells carry samples of the intruders to T cells, which assess the threat. Alternatively, the roaming T cells or B cells may encounter the invader directly. If deemed dangerous, these cells launch a precise, tailored defense strategy to combat the threat. This leaves us wondering how T cells and B cells can distinguish between friend and foe. While both harmful pathogens and beneficial bacteria express antigens, B cells possess antibodies capable of binding with nearly any antigen. The answer lies in the 1990s discovery of our dual immune systems by researchers Ruslin Medzitov and Charles Janeway. In addition to the adaptive immune system we already know, which learns from previous exposure to pathogens and strengthens its defenses, we also possess the innate immune system. Although T cells and B cells can recognize billions of antigens, they are unable to determine whether to attack without input from the innate immune system. This is where the crucial toll-like receptors come in. Toll-like receptors, found on dendritic cells and other cell types, can identify generic traits commonly associated with pathogens, such as nucleic acids found in viral infections or specific large molecules distinct to certain bacteria. When a cell equipped with a toll-like receptor detects these pathogenic characteristics, it relays a confirmatory message to T cells. Acting as military commanders, the T cells then direct other cells to battle against the identified enemy. Together, the adaptive and innate immune systems form a well-orchestrated defense strategy that keeps our bodies safe from countless threats. Cytokines, Body's Messaging System The immune system relies on an internal communication network where cells use proteins called cytokines to share information about potential threats. These messengers, such as interferon, help initiate a defense against invading pathogens. However, they also cause the unpleasant symptoms associated with illness, encouraging the body to rest and focus on recovery. Some cytokines, like interleukins, play a regulatory role and prevent the immune system from overreacting. Maintaining a delicate balance is vital, as an indiscriminate attack could be fatal. Yet, this careful approach can sometimes be exploited by malignant organisms, using the body's own defenses for their nefarious means. Within our bodies lies an incredible communication system responsible for coordinating our immune system's response to intruding pathogens. Cells utilize a specific protein called a cytokine to relay vital information to other cells, allowing for a rapid response to potential threats. Imagine your body being invaded by a virus. Cells near the site of the invasion release cytokines, which alert other cells to the presence of the intruder. This signal can travel across the entire body in just hours. One such cytokine with a crucial role in this process is interferon. When a healthy cell detects a viral invader, it releases interferon, making it difficult for the virus to multiply. As other healthy cells pick up on the interferon, they also begin generating it, further inhibiting the virus's spread. However, the side effects of interferon can be unpleasant, causing sensations of fever, aches, and fatigue. This discomfort persuades the body to rest, allowing it to focus on mounting a defense against the invader. Cytokines like interleukins play a different role, they regulate immune responses by discouraging the immune system from attacking. This delicate balancing act is essential, as an uncontrolled, widespread immune response could prove lethal. Yet, this cautious approach has its drawbacks, as some malignant organisms can exploit it and use the body's defense mechanisms for their own sinister purposes. Jason's Battle with Hodgkin's Lymphoma 
Jason Greenstein was a lively and adventurous soul, always pursuing his passions. However, his world changed when he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in his 40s. This cancer unfortunately deceives the immune system and stealthily takes over, using malignant B cells to instruct healthy immune cells to self-destruct. Luckily, 90% of Hodgkin's lymphoma cases are curable with chemotherapy, but Jason, unfortunately, fell within the other 10%. Jason Greenstein, a lifelong friend of the author, was a vivacious person bursting with energy. His athleticism shone during his teenage years on the basketball court, yet he remained humble and supportive of those less skilled, including the author. As he transitioned into adulthood, Jason became a serial entrepreneur, traveling across the U.S. in pursuit of his eccentric ideas. But life took an unexpected turn when Jason was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in his 40s. This cancer targets the immune system, specifically the lymphatic system, fooling healthy defensive cells by masquerading as one of them. Hodgkin's lymphoma infiltrates the immune system by attacking B cells, turning them malignant, and then manipulating them to control the immune system. The deadly strategy employed by the malignant B cells involves using a molecule called PDL1 to bind to healthy immune cells, known as T cells. As a result, the T cells self destruct under the influence of this deceptive invader. The immune system is unable to recognize the cancerous cells as foreign and unwittingly shields their activities. Consequently, the cancer steadily takes control of the immune system. Although this diagnosis was devastating, there was a glimmer of hope, chemotherapy successfully cures around 90% of Hodgkin's lymphoma cases. However, fate had other plans for Jason, as he fell into the unfortunate minority of cases that do not respond to chemotherapy. This remarkable individual story highlights the insidious nature of Hodgkin's lymphoma and exemplifies the challenges that life may unexpectedly throw our way. A Fighter's Battle with Cancer Jason was a warrior. No matter the challenge, he faced it head-on. But when cancer struck, the fight of his life had begun. Chemotherapy, bone marrow transplants, and a relentless cycle of treatment almost broke him. Then he received the miraculous drug, nivolumab. Although his odds of survival were bleak, the treatment led to complete remission. Despite the miraculous recovery, however, the long-term consequences of tampering with his immune system ultimately proved deadly. From the moment he was diagnosed with cancer, Jason tackled the disease with an indomitable spirit. He braved the challenges of chemotherapy, only to relapse and undergo yet another round. When that, too, proved ineffective, he submitted himself to a harrowing bone marrow transplant, ridding his body of cancerous B cells along with the healthy ones. But the cancer returned, as ruthless as ever. Jason's ordeal was a marathon of physical and emotional torment. His bone marrow transplant had severely weakened his ability to create normal blood cells, leaving him neutropenic, with dangerously low levels of white blood cells, and on the brink of giving up. The prospect of receiving any further approved treatments vanished, as his body was too frail to endure them. But fate had other plans. Through a miraculous intervention, Jason's physician obtained special permission to use an experimental drug called nivolumab. Instead of targeting and destroying the cancerous cells, nivolumab reprogrammed the immune system, empowering it to attack the malignancy directly. The treatment was an extreme long shot, Jason's odds of survival were a staggering 1 in 12 million. Defying all expectations, the nivolumab worked. A once enormous tumor vanished within weeks, and soon after, Jason's cancer was in complete remission. The treatment, while life-saving, did not come without perilous consequences. Following his remission, Jason underwent a stem cell treatment, receiving a new immune system from his sister. At first, his health seemed to improve, only for complications to arise later, ranging from minor to severe. Ultimately, Jason's immune system turned against his own body, causing catastrophic liver failure and inflammatory reactions. On August 10, 2016, he lost his battle, succumbing to his body's defenses. There may not be a clear moral to Jason's story, however, it serves as a powerful reminder of the double-edged sword that is our immune system, 
an intricate, awe-inspiring force capable of both safeguarding us from harm and, if manipulated, delivering our destruction. In An Elegant Defense, Matt Richtel takes the reader on an informative and captivating journey through the complex world of the immune system. By elucidating the key highlights of the development of immunology, and detailing the personal stories of those involved in scientific breakthroughs, the reader gains an appreciation for the elegance and power of our body's defense mechanisms. Understanding the immune system not only gives us a deeper appreciation of our own biology, but also sheds light on the delicate balance that must be maintained between fighting off pathogens and maintaining overall health. As we continue to study the immune system, we are reminded that interfering with it comes with inherent risks, but these discoveries also hold the potential for groundbreaking treatments and therapies.